as you can see, uh, I have lined up for you um, all of the new things that I want to show you for the baby. As you can see, there is just tons here for me to show you. And uh, I think I'm going to have to split this video up into two, actually, because this is actually just ridiculous. Some beautiful little socks here from H&M. Um, I am going to try and give you the prices as much as I can, if I can remember, because as you can imagine, we have purchased this stuff over the course of a long period of time. And uh, it's really difficult to remember exactly how much everything cost. Also, uh, some of these things, this whole pile here, for example, um, bar these two things, are actually Kaya's old clothes that I saved, that I wanted to show you. They're just too cute um, to not share with you, say, basically. Um, so, so anyway, getting back to these, um, these darling little socks, these were 2 99 for this pair, and then 2 two fifty for this pair, and as you can see, they're very small and very cute. Okay, so I purchased two of these, which are um, these little, um, these cute little, like, frilly, capped-sleeved um, vests from Henny's, and I had these with Kaya, and they wash really well, and they were 5 99 for a pack of two. I bought some footless tights for her in... John Lewis. I um, appreciate obviously that these are going to be a bit big from the start. I think they are not to six months because that's the size increments that they do in John Lewis which isn't amazingly great because uh, that's just going to be way too big from the beginning but they're a very cute colour and um, and if I have to just like roll them up at the bottom, that's fine. And they're footless, so I can put little cute socks at the bottom if I want to. And I think that was six pounds for a pack of two footless tights from John Lewis. Um, these are more socks from um, Henny's. I'm doing everything with my left hand here, and I'm not left-handed, so I'm gonna be a bit of a dud. Uh, this is these were one of the first purchases I ever made, and. Um, you can probably tell actually because they're very unisex um, but despite the fact that we're having a girl I absolutely love these I think they are so beautiful um, such lovely little designs um, and I think those were in a three pack from Henny's for three or four pounds this is a blanket that I bought from TK Maxx and I love it so much um, it goes with the colour scheme of my house quite well we have a lot of greens and blues um, pastel -y colours and this was so cheap $7.99 as you can see ridiculously cheap for a lovely lovely blanket you can't really feel you can't see how amazing this is but it's so soft and uh, for $7.99 that's superb and I'm going to use that to just like um, chuck it on the sofa downstairs and just let her lie on it um, so if she pukes up or anything I can just chuck that in the washing machine and I don't have to worry about the sofa these are two little bibs that I bought from the baby show you're not going to be able to see probably it says it's a bibble I think I got those two for six pounds at the baby show these are some cute bibs I bought from Thada and Thada Home Kids. Two pieces, uh, 9.99. Not the cheapest, but actually, but uh, and considering they're quite plain, but um, they're very qu good quality. I can feel that they're super quality and they'll wash really well. Good quality looking. Does that make sense? This is another thing we purchased at the baby show. This is a little bonnet. It's so cute. I won't get it out, but basically it's a bonnet and it's got the little, you know, can you see? <laughs> it's so cute. That's going to be the back, obviously. And it's got the little thingies that come down the front to tie it on. Powell Craft. That bonnet was £10. I'm sure everybody has seen these. This is the little portable soother steriliser that you just hang off the end of the pram and the little tablets that go with it. This could be a total gimmick, but I saw it in um, Mothercare one day and it was on offer. 
um, for a few pounds and I just picked it up. I think it's meant to be like six pounds normally and, I, and it was three something so I picked it up just because I thought it might be useful. Um, we'll see. I picked up some for coal just in case. Um, Kaya had to use this. I think it's two or three pounds in mother care and I think everybody should get one bottle when they first have a baby just in case because you never know so many children have um, colic these days. Right so these are some really beautiful cute um, dummies that I saw in Bentles. They were 3 50 each and they look like this and they're different um, designs obviously and uh, moral of the story is if she needs soothers she's going to have some cute ones um, these are the they've got something they've, they've got some dental thing going on where they're, they're not going to harm her, the lid of her mouth or anything they're not going to stop her from being able to suck properly uh, and this is one of those little thingy chains so that her dummy doesn't fall off like that baby right there. Cute! That was $5.95 for that. Hey, Sophie. Everybody has a Sophie, don't they? So, this is a full size. And I asked this from one of the ladies that came to my baby shower. And um, she very kindly bought it for me. I love that. I think those are about tenner full price. And... Um, I bought this one in the Mamas sale for £6, as you can see, and um, it's the teether version of the Sophie, and I couldn't resist. Um, another Mamas purchase, this one was in the sale as well, was meant to be £22, and I think I got it for £16. It's just a very lovely little sleep suit. Uh, fitted sheets for the crib. This was also in the Mamas sale. Um, this was originally £15 in Mamas and Papas and I got it for £4 and it's the most beautiful little hat with a pair of mitts and they're like fleecy. Okay this is a robe that I purchased for her in the Disney store. I have a bit of an obsession with elephants and an even more of an obsession with Dumbo. <laughs> Love Dumbo, <laughs> so beautiful. Um, and um, this was eighteen pounds. Um, and it's beautifully fleecy, not very girly, but I don't mind about that because she's got loads of girly stuff, so she can just be in white when she gets out of the bath. Yay! Um, these are the white sleep suits that I bought. Um, I bought these for Kaya and I love them so much that I bought them again for new little Bubba. Um, they have this little thing here, you probably can't see it because it looks as though my camera is a bit rubbish. But basically it says, welcome to the world. Three very plain, beautiful cotton little sleep suits from Mamas and they were... £14. These are the other sleep suits I bought. Um, so this is a three pack from Next. This three pack was £16. And so um, these are this one, this one, cute, and this one. Oh, so lovely, beautiful. Little rabbits and ducks on them. Love those. And another three. This one. Um, not entirely sure that I love that little cat, but I thought the sleeves were really cute. And these were all th three for 16 again. And I really love the colour of this. Beautiful little green one underneath. And this one as well I thought was beautiful. Um, lovely gorgeous little flowers, cream colour with green and a lovely little pink bow. 
and the next ones are brilliant quality they wash absolutely superbly i found with kaya so that's why i went to next for those um, this is a sleeping bag that i purchased and it's very plain just white with that character what's he called care for you character tiny titty and this was super too super super cheap i think i've taken the tag off this yeah looks like I have but I bought this in Tesco and it was so cheap it was eight pounds I think and it's um, very lovely cotton and it's a two and a half togger not to six months and then the grow bags are normally like um, 30 pounds I've got a few of those still left from when I had Kaya but I thought I'd buy little New little bubba, another one or two of these little bags. This is actually something for her to sleep in as well. Um, but it's, you know, like an all-in-one kind of sleeping suit as opposed to a um, bag uh, for when it's a bit on the colder side. And it's a two and a half togger as well from Mother Care. It was half price in the sale. And it's, uh, so I got it for 7 50 and it's, what do they call it? It's a walk-in sleeper. 